Hello again everybody, my name is Joshua and welcome back to another Wiremod tutorial. In today's episode I'll be showing you how to make alternating text on a billboard. Uh, kind of like this one here, so you see it says, Hello, this is a test, and it cycles through the uh, different phrases that you can have. You can set the time on this to be as long as you want or as short as you want. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's as short as you want, but within reason. And you can basically have this phrase, whatever you want, as many phrases as you want. And this only requires uh, six components, including the screen. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's get started on how to make this. The first thing you're going to want to do is choose a location. So, for example, I'm going to create this cool looking billboard up here. So, I'm just going to. Uh After you've got this screen there, you want to get yourself a constant value. And I'll just. Oh no. I'll show you just what all of this is first, okay? So you'll be greeted probably with just a uh, number and then nothing in here. So what you want to do is the foot you want to basically write in for a different each a different string or value every time you want to make the new phrase. So for example, we can uh, go this, then we'll go add and type in uh, this is. You'll see it automatically changes from string. There's a lot of here, but number is basically digits, and then vector. Uh, sorry, string is text. So this is Josh Lott's pent house. Now you see you can you can have spaces and stuff here. You can have like an entire string on this, which is cool. So we're gonna go. This is Josh Lott's pent house. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to make a number this time, and you want the number to be the amount of uh, strings there are. So in this case, it's uh, four strings, so we're going to put a four, and then we're going to have a one down here, which is basically going to indicate that it'll start cycling. So think of it as binary. When it's zero, it means nothing's doing anything, and when it's a one, it means it's going to cycle through stuff. Now you can obviously add a... Um, you can add a button or a switch or something to activate this. I'll show you how to do that after actually, but you just want a one down here for the on off and four is the amount of strings we've got. This is Josh Lott's penthouse. That's four. Once you've done this you want to just chuck this down anywhere for now, so we're just gonna put it on this wall here. So we're gonna put it there. No, that's horrible. Right there. Now what you want to do is you want to go under gates. And the first oh no. And the first gate you want to get is a timer gate. A timer gate is under time, obviously, and you want to go to the bottom and go timer and place it there. Then what you want to do is you want to get the you want to get a round gate, which is under comparison, I think. No, arithmetic. Where is it? It's somewhere here. I've seen it. It's round, round, round. It's string. No, no. Ah, here it is. It is under arithmetic. So you want to get the round gate and place that just next to it. Then what you want to do is you want to get the uh, comparison gate, you want to get a greater than gate, and you want to put that somewhere like this. It doesn't need to be next to each other, I just like it in a nice little neat square like this, and then that up there. So then what you want to do is you want to get the final gate you're going to need, and it is under selection, and it is the... Oh no, apparently it isn't. Wait, let me think. Uh, you know, no, sorry, it's under string. And it is the select right here. The select gate. So you place that there. And that's everything you're going to need. Now what you want to do is you want to go and get your advanced wiring tool, which is all the way down the bottom. I've got everything, by the way, just uh, favorited up here, so it's easy for me to get these things. But you want to get the uh, wire advanced tool, which is somewhere. Here it is. It says wire on here. For some reason, I've just got some add-ons. I've got a whole bunch of add-ons, which you can find at this link in the description below. So, you get the uh, wiring tool out, and what you want to do is, the first thing you want to do is set the timer to start timing. So you want to go run, and then link that up to the on value, which is the one here. And you'll see, if you hover over this, it'll start timing up, and it's got a whole bunch of decimal places, which we don't really need. Which is what the round gate for, no, that's not the round gate. The round gate is for, so you want to go A, which is the input, and you want to do the output of the timer. See how that's 13, 14, 15. Now, if we hover over this, it's just single numbers, so 18, 19, 20, and so on. Uh, now, this is a bit too much, you see, because we don't want it going up to this. The way this works is every, the way we're going to set this anyways, is every second, the uh, sign will change. So what we want to do is we want to go with the uh, greater than gate. We want to go if A, 
which is if the round timer here is greater, which is B, than the amount of strings we have, which is number 4, then we will reset. So we go reset to the output of the greater than gate. And it looks a bit confusing, but basically it goes, this is the timer here, this here is the round gate. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it'll go back to 0, and then 1. And what this is basically doing is if this is greater than 4, if this, if, sorry, if the this here is greater than 4 on this, it'll basically reset back to 0. Now what we want to do is get the select uh, gate here. Now all that you can have up to um, uh, 8 amount of strings, which is 8 different strings. So basically what you want to do is you want to link up A to the uh, first string here, which is this. And then you go down that um, consecutively, basically. So you go B is is C is Josh Lots and D is Penthouse, and you just got a whole bunch of Y's everywhere. Now, by the way, I've made these Y's visible just for the purpose of this video. If you want to get rid of it, all you need to do is go up to and in, in the wiring tool. By the way, you want to change the width to zero, and it won't show up any of these here. I've just turned it on just so you can kind of see what's going on here. Then what you want to do is you want to go under Choice, and you want to go Choice to the output of the round gate, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. And now you can see that when you look... Uh, wait, can I... Yeah, well, you can kind of see it's cycling through. It's a bit hard to see with the, uh, with the, uh, HUD in the way, but basically... You want to do that, basically. That was great. Now what you want to do is you want to hover over the, uh, billboard here that you've chosen, or the text screen, and you want to select String and put string to the select here. And once you've done that, you see it's completely functional. Oopsie, uh, no, no, there we go. Here we go. So you see that cycles through it very nicely here. So it goes, this is Josh Lott's penthouse. Isn't that cool? And then the way you can rig that then up to a button instead is if we just go under button, which I've bookmarked up here. We go button. Let's just select my favorite one, which is this one. No, not that one. Uh, this one here. So these values, by the way, can be whatever they want, just as long as this is, uh, value on is higher than the other one. And what you want to do is you want to place this here. And then you want to get the wiring tool. And instead of wiring the run onto the, uh, s the constant value here, you want to take the run and put it into the output of the button here. So now you see this is actually running now for some reason. Oh, okay. Sorry, it does matter what the button is set to. The value off needs to be set to zero. So we can click that to update it. And then you see it should not do anything. And then when we turn it on, like that, you see it starts cycling through again. Isn't that cool? That is basically how you do the billboard changing text on a text screen tutorial. And you know what time it is. It's time to do a uh, request now, so enjoy. So we have a submission here from Fixter. He says, how do you make an elevator? Or he wants me to make an elevator. Now, it's very, very simple to make a basic elevator, I guess. And this is uh, an elevator I find works very nicely. The first thing you want to do is you want to get a prop of some description. And this here will act as our anchor point for the uh, top of the elevator. And we can actually just easy weld this straight on to the building. And then just right click, and then right click, like... Actually, we'll put it somewhere closer, so there. Then what you want to do is you want to spawn in a plate. So I'm going to go with a 1x1 one one plate here, because it's nice and small and simple. And we're just going to put it roughly underneath the uh, anchor point here. Then what you want to do is you want to get a chair. I'm going to go with the car seat for now and take this and put it preferably facing away from the building or in whatever direction you want but basically place it kind of like this and then we're going to just drop that gently onto here like so and we're going to weld it to the uh, plate like so then what we want to do is we want to hold down C and get off that hold down C and right click on the plate and go keep upright then what you want to do is you want to go under slider and what you want to do is you want to click somewhere so I'm going to go here and then you want to click directly above it, but on the anchor point, so on the building. So we're going to look straight up, and it's going to be about there. Then the uh, final thing you want to do is you want to get yourself a hover ball. Here we go. And then you want to set the key to whatever you want. I've got 8 and 5 on the uh, numpad here. And you want to basically put it on the back of the chair, like so. So we're going to place it there. 
and I'm stuck now. So you place it on the back there, and then what you do is it's it's basically complete now. And if you use the binds, it goes up like so, and you stop, and it goes down like like we did before. So when it goes down like so, you can just get in it like this. And yeah, this is uh, using pack editor. So this is my uh, little model I've made here. Just ignore it for now. I can do a tutorial if you want to know how to do that. It's a bit bright. But basically, we can go up like this, and I, I let out a particle effect when I move like this, so we go up like this, and if you get high enough, actually, if you get out of it, like, uh, how do you do E, like this, you can actually land on top of it, which is actually quite convenient. So this has been another Wild Mod tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, leave a comment and tell me what you want me to make next, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.